Hi, I'm Kim from DesktopPublishingBusiness.com and today we're going to make a professional looking business flyer using Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new blank document. First thing I'm going to do is change my margins. I'm going to go for a really narrow margin. Now I'm going to insert a drawing canvas. I like to use a drawing canvas when I'm doing um, flyers. It makes it easier. It makes it easy for me to place objects directly on the document. I'm going to do a little formatting. I'm going to change the layout so that my canvas sits in front of text. I'm going to also change my fill color. I want a nice gradient background for this flyer. So I'm going to go to Fill Effects. I'm going to do a two color. My first color. I'm going to pick this blue here. My second color is going to be white and I'm going to change the transparency to about 50% or so. I'm choosing a horizontal gradient also going to add a line color burgundy and the weight of the line is going to be three points say okay and that's formatted the next thing I'm going to do is add another auto shape and just add a visual element to my flyer I'm going to format the auto shape and do a picture into the auto shape. I've downloaded from Fotolia.com. It's just the stock photo company that I like to use. They let you download a comp image that's a little fuzzier, maybe a little grainy, has Fotolia written on it, but it's good so you can see what your publication is going to look like before you purchase the actual file. The actual picture itself is pretty reasonably priced. Um, you can get in anywhere from 75 cents on up to $10 depending on what your licensing needs are. So I'm going to pick this picture of some nice exotic beads. This is going to be a flyer for a small jewelry company and this is going to kind of set the tone for our flyer and set the colors as well. So I've selected my picture. I'm going to lock picture aspect ratio and say OK. And that picture just pops in, gives us a nice graphic heading. The next thing I'm going to do is insert a text box right below. I'm going to put some information in. Just some marketing information for my flyer. Just a couple of descriptive words describing what my jewelry service is. I'm going to format this. Now I'm going to choose my font. I'm going with a font called Bangle. I looked, kind of had a nice little flair to it. Uh, so that's my choice. And I'm going to format this at about 36 points and center it. I'm also going to change the font color to a burgundy. Close this up a little. Let me go back in and remove the fill color of white because I want this to be uh, no fill and I don't want a line. I want my text to blend into the flyer. Okay. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add some pictures and again, I whatever stock photo company you like to use I think using professional stock photos make all the difference in your professional flyers and desktop publishing projects spend the extra five dollars for a few photos it'll really give you a polished look so let's keep going I'm going to insert I'm going to use a circle auto shape I'm going to hold down the shift button and draw a circle. Now while the circle is selected I'm going to copy it and paste two times because I want 
I have three pictures I want to put in three circles so let me get those kind of lined up I'm just kind of eyeballing it here when you make your flyer you can be a little more exact and I'm gonna take my first circle go to format auto shape fill effects and insert one of the pictures that I downloaded I'm gonna lock the picture aspect ratio and say OK and my first picture has filled into the auto shape circle I'm gonna change the order because I think I want hmm, this circle to lay on top of the other circle so I'm just gonna to bring to front now I'm going to add pictures to the second circle same thing fill effects picture already have my picture downloaded I'm gonna use this picture here now I'm not going to lock the picture aspect ratio here because the way it pops in is the way I want it to look and I've done this already and she's in there and I'm going to my third circle same thing fill effects add in the picture that I downloaded some nice colorful beads I'm going to lock the picture aspect ratio and say OK notice I'm keeping a a line around my circles a black line just to kind of frame my images and I think I want my lady here to be on top of the jewelry so I'm gonna bring to front yes so we have a nice little picture design element here for our flyer We're gonna keep going I'm going to insert a text box because I want to give a little bit of information about my jewelry company so I've inserted a text box I'm gonna copy and paste some text that I've already typed some descriptive text about my jewelry and my company I'm gonna paste it in do a little formatting format I'm gonna keep this New Times Roman I want a font that has a bit of a serif for the line so it's readable I'm going to center and my first line of text I want to be a little bigger so I'm going to set that at about 22 and widen this a little I want it all on one line if I can get it yes and I'm gonna format the rest I'm gonna bold it and set it at about 20 Okay, now I'm going to click back on my text box, format the text box because again I want to remove my fill color of white and I want to remove any line color. And there we have it. I'm going to click and just nudge this with my arrow key down some so it doesn't interfere with my clip art. And there you have it. Insert another text box. Just going to draw it right on. I'm going to tell what my company is. Have it typed. Copy and paste. I'm going to center it. I'm going to use that bangle font that I used previously. And I'm going to center. Let me change my fill color. Selecting the text box, go to my fill color. Let's go with this darker turquoise here. Say OK. And I do not want a line color. There we go. Now I'm going to change my font color to white so it shows through that turquoise and I'm going to format this text to make it larger see let's go about 36 I'm going to have to open my text box some and format 
the other information at about 20. There we have it. Coming to the end, I'm going to insert one more text box for our address and telephone number information. Put it right at the bottom. Just going to leave a little gap there. Copy and paste. And center. I'm going to select my newly drawn text box and format it and add a fill color. I'll just go with a different green and no line color. I'm going to format the first two lines at about 22 I guess. Well, it might be a little too big. Let's see, you know, we're going to move this up some just so we'll have some room. I'm going to start by moving my pictures. Just going to quickly select them by clicking. I'm going to hold down the control key and click again and click again. That selects all three pictures. I'm going to hit my arrow key and nudge up. I'm going to click on the text box that contains the information about my company and nudge up. Same thing for Kathy's Jewelry Creations, and nudge up. That'll give myself a little more space on this last text box here. And open it up some, and shrink the font down. And I'm going to change the font color of the URL to the website to Burgundy. And there you have it. Go to www.desktoppublishingbusiness.com for more desktop publishing tips, articles, and sample templates.